place where their mask is. And now strip properties are saying if you're fully vaccinated by the pool, you don't need to worry about that. You know, genuinely, I'm not terribly concerned about a tan line on my face, but let's talk about it anyway. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spanish and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, as you guys already know, old spicy Steve Sisolak has promised us a 100% open Vegas by June 1st, with a couple caveats there that we'll probably have to address another time. Anyway, though, it looks like a couple properties have already taken to it. MGM Properties, Wynn, Cosmo, and Caesars have actually started reducing their mask mandates specifically at the pool. So if you guys don't know, there's actually been a news report out and several announcements made by MGM, Caesars, and other properties that dictate that if you are a fully vaccinated hotel guest, you don't need to wear your mask in the pool or at your lounge chair, day bed, or cabana. So hey, there you go. If you're not super comfortable having masks on all the time and you want to find a place where you can hang out without them, there you go. You can rent a cabana out in the pool. Problem solved, right? But this also brings up a couple questions and concerns that I have regarding the policy and how it's enforced. Let's talk about it just a little bit more. All right, guys, so at MGM, Caesars, Wynn, and Cosmo, what they're up to right now is if you are at your day bed or in your pool chair or in your cabana or in the pool, you don't have to wear a mask, which, hey, always good stuff. Let's you breathe easy if you need to or, you know, gives you the option to rest a little bit you don't have to police yourself pulling it up, pulling it down, removing it, putting it back on while eating and drinking quite as much. So that's an option, right? But here's a strange thing I've thought about. Wynn has been doing this for a while. Yeah, that's right. During our last trip to the Wynn of uh, October of 2020, or October of 2020, but let's call it what it is. It was October. We actually went down to the wind to do a live stream, and while we were down there, the rules were already like this. If you were in the pool, you didn't have a mask on. In fact, they actually forbade masks in the pool, so, you know, that was an interesting thing. But more importantly, if you're at your chair or your daybed, or just going directly from the pool to your chair or your daybed, they didn't actually police masks. It was only when you got up to go to the bathroom or go to a gift shop or something along those lines where they required you to have a mask on. So that rule's already been in place, at least at the win. And I don't recall exactly how it was at Luxor last time I went. I didn't stick around long enough to find out. But it seemed to be pretty similar. I don't recall a lot of people wearing their masks in their chairs or their day beds. The second question I had to ask was, well, how are they gonna know how somebody's vaccinated or not? So that's the real question here. I'm pretty sure, now don't quote me on this, obviously I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure patient privacy laws indicate that you can't actually ask someone for their vaccination card. Also here in the States, it's not exactly like there's a big national database that keeps track of who's had their vaccine and who hasn't. So as far as I can tell, there's really no way for them to track this. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a little bit of digging. And mad shout out to Gary Ma, who's apparently thinking the same thing in the We Love Las Vegas Facebook group. And he actually came up with a surefire way to find out how they were doing it. He screenshotted a picture on Instagram and then just direct message Caesars. I'm not making this up. Yeah, that's how it went. They're gonna be on the honor system. So, if you come through and you're not wearing a mask, apparently staff is just going to assume that you've been vaccinated. Which, within of itself, is fine. I can't imagine most people would lie about, you know, not being vaccinated and, you know, especially if they're confronted about it. I can't imagine anyone would lie about that. But I can imagine if it's a don't ask, don't tell policy, some people that may or may not be vaccinated probably just won't care, and I'll just go about things normally. And yeah, we can get into other weird things like a national record, vaccine passports, or not having those as a general invasion of privacy, that sort of thing. That's not what this video is for. What I'm trying to let you know is that if you do go down to a Vegas pool where they do allow you to be maskless, just be aware that some people may be maskless, and there's no way to tell if they have been vaccinated or not. If that matters to you, then might be something you want to avoid. 
If it doesn't matter to you, go about your day. No worries. But that's about it, Spinners and Sharks. So what do you guys think? Are you guys willing to go down to Vegas pools where people may or may not be vaccinated and are walking around without masks? Up to you, obviously. Let's keep the comments clean. You know, keep the hits above the belt. No personal attacks. If you want to beat up Syslac, you're fine. If you want to beat up a politician, you're fine. But, you know, we're all mates here, so let's not, uh, you know, let's not start any personal fights here. But regardless, I'd love to hear what your thoughts may be in the comment section down below. Until next time, those winners and sharks, it's Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.